We are back in the kitchen uh, to whip up something that's fruity, delicious, and possibly your new scone inspiration. Look at that. Um, so while we have been warmed up from the inside from that amazing performance, we're now warming up the oven to whip up something incredible. If you're looking for some new scone inspiration, as I said, then try our Clover Fruits of the Forest scone recipe. The perfect treat that can be served with almost anything like bacon jam. For instance, we are celebrating bacon in its many forms this morning, and this is a great way to enjoy it. Spruce it up with something that is beautiful, of course, made with our fruits of the forest dairy snack, which is in itself a meal and beautiful. Jenny Morris, you've got the glove on, which means you're gonna get hands on with this one, I know. Did you say beautiful? Beautiful and gorgeous. Are you doing your good deed for the week? I am, no, you are the, the beautiful accompaniment to any meal. Uh, Miss Morris, I'm loving what we're doing here. Um, scones, always nice to spruce up your scone recipe with something different every okay. once in a while, and that's what we're doing today. Do you know what I love about scones or scones? Scones. Is that you can have them sweet or savoury. For sure. And this is kind of... A bit of both. In the middle yeah, yet. this is a bit of both. It's yeah. nice. So the sweet, I've put some caster sugar in. We've got to have a little bit of salt. We've got some self-raising flour here. And to give a little bit of extra lift, remind me to talk about lift. Lift, okay. Uh, you I'm, I'm nervous to ask you about lift. No, 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 I'm behaving. Like that. I'm, I'm nervous. No, I don't know if you, I doubt you will behave, Jenny. Well, I try. I know you do well. <laughs> <laughs> so what I need you to do here, okay. my sweetheart, is to just um, give that a good stir to make sure it's well incorporated. Okay. And because I'm a lady, I can multitask. I'm going to quickly jump to my bacon. Because you know it's bacon, um, international oh, bacon. We are day. celebrating bacon. And yes. bacon jam is quite nice because bacon itself does Gorgeous. lend itself to a bit of sweet. Hey? Absolutely. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this too. a nice little a bit of a, um, a thingamajiggy here. And now there are a couple of things you can do with your scones, is you could make an oil-based scone, or you could make a butter, butter-based okay. scone. And I've got the butter in the fridge, and I'll okay. tell you why I want to keep it nice and cold, if you wouldn't mind just having I a look. I will do it. Um, because scones like a hot, hot oven, and they don't want the butter to be melted and messed with. Okay. okay? That's so now we're going ready. to pop that into here. I should be giving you my glove. Exactly, yeah. Because um, this needs to be broken up. You know what you can hand. do for me? Just use the fork in the meantime, my darling. Okay. While I just get this, this bacon um, going here. So I've got the bacon renderings. So we've got that lovely bacon. In fact, you must listen okay, and work. Okay, so I must just break it yes. down. <laughs> I'm gonna, I feel like I'm going to bend this fork. Oh, just bend, okay. the, bend the butter, baby. Bend the butter, baby. Bend babe. the butter. Cool. So we okay. have onions, we've got bacon graham, and we've got some delicious um, garlic, because okay. garlic's going to give it some lovely depth. And, and lots of things that are going to caramelise within that, because we know the bacon caramelises oh like goodness. nothing else. Absolutely. Now with the onion, you don't want it to cook down too much, because you still want to keep a little bit of texture in here, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go in with my sugar, because that's where the caramelisation magic is about to happen. Whoa. And I'm going to just get that oh, to kind of beautiful. melt. Imagine it's with a bit beautiful. of cheese. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Magic. Lovely, lovely to keep in the fridge, and it does last because the sugar is a preservative, and so is the balsamic. And in you go, and you want this to now just slowly, slowly cook down, caramelize. Be very uh, careful. You know why? Because balsamic it's is. It's going to burn very quickly. It's going to yeah. burn very, very quickly. So, so now this is where your multitasking skills come okay. in. You're going to keep an eye there for me, and okay. I'm going to okay. come back here. Dying. I've broken most yes, of them. Yes, thank you. But do you okay. know what else you're going to do? Uh -huh. You're going to beat the egg okay. and the milk together. And that's going to form yes. our glaze. Yes. So I'm not going to completely make this because as TV magic happens, I've yeah, already made it. But the important thing is butter acts as a barrier um, when you're making scones or scones because you don't want that. not like bread where you want to like really work that gluten too much. You don't okay. want to overmix it. So what happens with the butter, you, you put it into the into the crumb like this and it, you get the sort of bread crummy um, consistency you could also grate the butter into it but you don't want it to melt because then you're not going to get a light crumb okay. um, in your scone okay so we'll finish this later and we'll serve that to the crew and i have one here can you see um, okay, i have so one it's, here it's definitely not too wet beautiful quite a nice and then what i've done is i've used my lovely um clover snack forest. yes the fruits of the forest but you could use any flavor because that all the fruity things will work beautifully with bacon yeah completely you know? but I, I think this the fruits of the forest is delicious obviously yes. in its own right but i think it's going to lend itself beautifully oh, yes. to that sweet savory mix 
The, the clover fruits of the forest with the cereal dairy snack has, it's got a beautiful creamy taste, crunchy fruit, it's got oats, it's got granola, it's got sunflower seeds in it as well. So you're even getting some of those good oils. The fruits of the forest dairy snack has a creamier taste with bigger fruit pieces and is filled with nutritional goodness. So this is a great way to sneak a little extra nutrients into a little one's diet if you um, are like me and, and struggling to get your kids to eat things. Adding fruits of the forest to, to this scone gives it obviously a moist um, uh, element that I, th I think is going to really add to it. And some acidity, because you see that helps it to rise. Now talking about rising, people always say to me, how do I get my scone or scone to be, always just do that, how do I get it to rise? Higher. So I like to pack them close together because they start fighting with each other ah, and then they start that, rising that to the occasion. It becomes yes. a scone competition That's see it. who's going to That's rise it. to the top. And then what I love is when you break them apart, I mean, you get that gorgeous oh. uh, reveal. So like that, you don't want to over to overwork your scone mixture either because we were talking about gluten. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to do that. And so also, the, you need a bit of restraint with this one. Just yes. don't overdo it. Yes, okay. don't over mix. Um, don't, especially, oh look, I've made one for you. Oh, yummy, um, Don't yummy, over mix. Yummy. And and I, my egg wash milk to just, can I just yes go. all over the top but here's a tip okay don't go down around the sides because if you do that it won't allow the scone to expand, expand. okay so, so just only on the top okay okay I'm just trying to do that there you go all over the top make sure it's all over the top uh, we don't want it dripping down okay beautiful sure. darling Stop, eh? look at you oh, greedy boy you've put too much on there but it's <laughs> fine I shall forgive you there we go I'll Which try. one would you like? Which, oh, my You're goodness. Gonna, don't go for the big one. Yeah, no, I'll go for that one. That looks beautiful. I'm loving you. Oh, this has come together beautifully. Tell that bacon Mama what jam. you think. Mm -hmm. Is it good or what? Is it good? Oh, my word. Fabulous, huh? And the fruitiness actually really does come through, but it's it that does. balance of sweet and salty. Compliments. Mm. We have to make this for the crew. We can't <clears> let them down, huh? <laughs> That is lovely. The fruits of the forest really does add a completely different element. Yes. To that scone or scone, if you will. Yes, but yes. My goodness, that jam is just, it's sweet and it's, it's caramelised. I'd like some a little bit of, in there. <laughs> oh, completely. A bit of, a slice of cheese. Oh, Put a slice heaven, of cheese heaven, on there. Heaven. Absolutely delicious. If you want this recipe, you can go to expressoshow.com. You can find all the culinary inspiration and I have a feeling that our crew is going to eat well this morning. We're going to make another batch of these beauties, but I really do suggest you try this at home. It's a different take on the scone and it is delicious. I'm going to have another So one. these are made for our boys with lots of Jenny love. Oh. <laughs> From Clover, just added real cereal crunch. A symphony of fruit, oats, seeds and granola crunch. <laughs> Fruits of the forest, real fruit, real cereal, real taste. Made with love by Clover.